yesterday we got a really intense rain. Didn't last very long, but it downpoured. And what I'm learning is every single time it rains really hard in the summer or fall, this wonderful, beautiful apple that we love that casts a lot of shade on our home just pours down a mountain of leaves into the gutters. And for years now, probably eight years now, uh, three or four times a season, the gutters overflow while there's a downpour. It gets in the basement. It's a mess, so I have to go up and clean the gutters. Generally during the middle of a downpour, I'm done with that. And we just recently invested in a new metal roof, which is incredibly exciting. It's a wonderful upgrade. The gutters that we have are still the old ones that are here. They're fine enough. You can see they're pretty warped. That was from snow and ice damming in the past. Hopefully the metal roof resolves that. But I'm thinking now that we've got this good clean uh, structure here, how do we get it so that leaves don't go in? I've been looking online. There's products that are expensive and brand new and plastic and blah, blah, blah. And so what I'm working with is a material that we already have on site, half inch hardware cloth, and trying to work out the kinks on how to make this something that is really simple to install and adjustable. And I think I may have found a solution for us. This is the very first fit, and I'm pretty happy with the basic idea. It's a rough sketch, let's call it that. But with the pitch of this roof, uh, it should be able to shed most larger leaves. I think if I wanted really fine filtration, I could probably go for a quarter inch or an eighth inch screen, but I don't have that right now. And at this size, even a lot of material coming in should still be able to flush through the downspout. So I think this will help keep all of these leaves from clogging up the end and I'm gonna make a few more. Before I go and buy new things, pretty much as a rule, I look through the things I have and what can I reuse? And I found this offcut. This is a four foot tall piece of half inch hardware cloth. And so can we process this into something? And the first uh, piece that I put up there that you saw was basically six inches of this and then two in, I folded them over. So I'm gonna cut one more out So this is about six inches and I left one side pointy because it was that way already. And the other side I tried to cut a little bit cleaner. This will be the side that I fold over. In other words, facing down into the gutter so that when I have to work with it, I don't have to wear gloves and get poked all the time. So let me fold this over and see if it'll fit like the first piece. So I'm just doing a test fit right now, but the pointy side faces up and we'll go under the metal <laughs> and the downside that has the smoother bit is folded over and that's what cups in <clears throat> and goes into the gutter. So bear in mind this is very much early first sketches but it just feels promising so I wanted to share. I'm going to leave a little space on this far end so I could reach in and pull stuff out just in case there's stuff but let's see. I guess the one real downside I don't like the idea of the metal scraping on the metal but once I work out the kinks, I can do that without it getting sliding across much. But boy, that fits really easily. And that's four feet of roof area that should no longer take on really big leaves. So really big stuff that clogs the drain. This little bits, if they fall through, I think are okay. I bought this spool of hardware cloth the other day for a different project. It was actually gonna to be to make more uh, drying screens. This is 50 feet of two foot tall materials. So that means there's four, if I'm cutting them to six inch height, there's four of those runs of that gutter guard that would be 50 feet long. So that'd be 200 feet worth of gutter protection from this one spool, which is way, way more than I need. And I, th I like the idea actually of cutting them to four or six foot lengths so that they're easy to put in and take out maybe when the winter comes. This side of the garage collects rainwater and fills this IBC tote. It's a very small amount of roof area, but you'd be amazed. It really fills this up. And if it did a little pre-filter on the way in, that would mean the filter we have set up on top of the tote would have a little less work to do. Very high tech stuff here. We got half inch mesh with quarter inch on top. So we can clean that out in a rain, but we might have to do that less if it pre-filters up there. The very north side of our house is actually one of the trickiest to clean. It's pretty high up and there's not a really great place to put a ladder. I have to smash thimble berries in a driving rain in order to get up there. 
And with the huge oak overhead, this gutter fills with leaves like crazy. So I'm definitely gonna tackle that one as well. I have some other stuff I need to work on for the rest of the morning. So I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna leave this video here. You get the idea. Part of the reason why I wanna put this up now, I'll do a follow-up once it's all done. And especially after a good rain, maybe I'll try to get some video of it while it's happening. Seems very promising to me, but I think there's value in putting this out to the world before I commit to the entire home. Has anyone tried this exact approach and had some abysmal failure that I'm not thinking of? Uh, for me, I've already got the half inch hardware cloth. I've got the little tin snips. It's very easy to do this. I'm not modifying the roof or the gutter. They can easily slip out after all the leaves drop in the fall so that in the winter, we don't have to worry about snow and ice over this. So to me, it feels like an incredibly good design direction to take. And the price is very reasonable. Let me know what you think. And if it feels useful, let me know if that's true too. If you try it, let me know how it works. And I'll do a follow-up video once they're all in and after a really good rain, and I'll put on some gear and try to actually film it. Skipping leaves over the top too. Thanks for watching. Don't get me too bad though, I'm not too worried. Well, let's, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.